What are the Clippers doing? Hashtag NBA Draft. Hashtag Sydney. Hashtag Willis. Hashtag Bust. Hashtag Virgin. Sydney Willis is the MJ of this draft. Los Angeles Clippers fans will always remember this day fondly. Willis! The clipperiest pick ever. Hashtag why. Hashtag my girlfriend's cheating on me. Happiest moments of my life. Number one, Clippers drafting Willis. Number two, my daughter being born. Well, as we can obviously see, a lot of people have mixed reactions when it comes to Sydney Willis. But don't be fooled, this man is six foot five, averaged a double double with 14 assists. This man is the damn future. I've got him playing 33 minutes in the hopes that he would not only win Rookie of the Year, but prove the beard wrong. Now, I doubt we are going to make the playoffs this year, but I'll be damned if Sidney Willis is in the future of this Clippers franchise. Now, this will be the last year of our 2K18 Clippers rebuild. In case you did not see it in episode one, we already snagged the championship. I'm not worrying about scouting, free agency, anything. The first thing I'm gonna do though is see if we can't improve this team a little bit more. I did say I was gonna trade Tio Dosik because we don't need three point guards. If I could get another big man or potentially a scorer, that would be much preferred. Derek Favors, oh, it's a wrap. Oh, it's a wrap. No, I see you trying to sneak back on Beverly. It's not happening. So checking out the updated lineup, Sydney Willis, Ken Bazemore, Decker, Blake Griffin, Alex Len with lockdown defender Patrick Beverly and favors now coming off the bench. This team is very, very solid, and I am going to force our rookie to get as many assists as possible. So without further ado, fellas, I will update you throughout the year. Let's jump to the end of the season. Look at that. Sydney Willis is already on fire, just five games into the season. How did we lose to the Nets? Please tell me how we lost to the Nets. We lost to the Magic, bro. Yeah, we're definitely not making the playoffs this year. If we're gonna make the playoffs, we have to pick our shit up ASAP, my dude. We lost, we got blown out by the Lakers. It seems the only teams that we can beat are very mediocre to bad Western Conference teams. Any Eastern Conference team, forget it, we lost. What is going on? We are nine and 15, bro. We're climbing our way slowly to the top, fellas. We just cracked eighth in the conference. We are on a four game win streak. Come on, clip. Come on, we are in and out of the playoffs, man. Back and forth. Oh, boys, we are on a mean win streak. We are on a mean win streak right now. We were 8 and 16. No, come on, boys. We can't lose to Portland. Yes. Keep getting blown out by the Warriors, though. That's the problem, man. So even if we do make the playoffs, which it looks like we will, we might have some issues when it comes to taking on the Warriors. I mean, as every team probably would, to be honest. Come on, boys. <laughs> We're on a mad losing streak now. We were winning all of our games. Now we're losing all of our games. We're on a seven-game, lo eight-game losing streak. Nine, ten, eleven. Oh my, we're about to get kicked out of the playoffs. Finally, we win a game, but then we lose again to the Warriors. Oh no, we are right on the tip, fellas. Come on, come on. I don't want to be eighth. We're ninth seed. Oh no, this is not good. The Spurs are one game ahead. The Lakers are one game ahead. It is so close. And we've also got the Pellows and the Jazz on our ass. We have to beat the Spurs. We have to beat these guys. Let's go. We jump into seventh place off that win. We could win this game easy. Stephen Curry takes home the MVP. Sydney Willis wins Rookie of the Year. 12.7 points, 2.7 rebounds, 7.2 assists, 1.6 steals. I kind of thought that he would at least crack a double-double. I'm not going to lie. I'm not disappointed because we made the playoffs, but <laughs> I mean, you can get 12 points. You can get 10 assists, you know? Carmelo Anthony wins six man of the year. That's pretty crazy. Giannis Antetokounmpo wins defensive player of the year. Well deserved. He nearly averaged a triple double, man. Mike Muscala wins most improved player. And Steve Kerr on a 67 and 15 record wins coach of the year. Is he smoking a doobie? Sidney Willis was on the all rookie first team, which is nice. He also went up four overall in that time. Ah, oh, great. We're going to take on the Rockets, bro. 
Like, Blake Griffin is fatigued. Well, your bitch ass better be ready, man. Come on, this is the damn playoffs. Statistics, let's go look at the rookie report. So, Sidney Willis averaged the most points out of all the rookies. 12.7, man. He also dominated when it came to assists. I mean, I'm sure a lot of these guys wouldn't have even been starting or close to starting. But second to him was Frank Mason, who only averaged 2.4 assists. I could easily see why he won Rookie of the Year. This guy, Lawrence Bryant, was probably second closest, man. He had a really good season himself. I just figured, though, with like 32 minutes of starting, I figured Sidney Willis would definitely crack 10 assists, you know? All right, let's get swept. I said that as a joke, mate, and we did lose 4-2. to two. The Lakers made it in over the Thunder. Let's go ahead and simulate this round. It's looking like it's just going to be Cavs. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on a second. The Cavs are undefeated, but they're second seed. Philly, mate. Philly's in first place. Let's go check them out real quick. Joel Embiid, Ben Simmons. Oh, my goodness. He's he's 90 overall at 22. Markel Foltz is 84 overall at... Bro. Oh, it's good to see an Australian dominating there, for real. They're actually so good, man. I'm not surprised, bro. In, like, five years, these guys are all going to be 99. Ah, that sucks, dude. We didn't even go positive. That's the problem, man. Like, we made the playoffs, which was nice. We won it last year, which is nice. Next rebuild is going to have to be an Eastern Conference team because no matter who we choose, I feel like we will definitely be able to take them to the playoffs. Eastern Conference, weak as shit right now. Let's take advantage of that. I'm going to go ahead and skip the draft and everything like that. I'm going to go straight to the free agency just to see hypothetically what we can pick up. Jimmy Butler's there. Hassan Whiteside. I don't think we'd even be able to... Yeah, why are we always negative and cap? This team is always so negative, bringing those bad vibes around, mate. Zach Randolph, Zebo, geez, mate, you old as shit. Devin Booker is in the free agency. This is probably pretty accurate. I do see him leaving. Dwight Howard, maybe? We could get Dwight Howard, but that probably would have been the limit to what we could have done, you know? <laughs> We would have been able to sign Zebo. This is just an awesome feature, this social media thing, bro. I mean, damn. Social media is awesome. Anyway. Ah. Well, unfortunately, we could not get a second championship. But still, we succeeded with the franchise. We said we wanted to bring one. We did that. So let me know down in the comment section what team from the Eastern Conference you would like to see rebuilt. Or we could potentially take a young team and improvement through the ranks. I would personally love to do a Bucks franchise, but I just know that they're too OP to begin with. So we could make a super team potentially. Like we could build around Giannis, maybe bring in a dominant power forward or center trade for somebody. It would be pretty cool to be honest, but I will ultimately leave the idea up to you, man. We could do a team like the Heat or I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. The most liked Eastern Conference team in the comment section will be done for the next video. Also guys, if you see the team that you want rebuilt already as a comment, don't comment it again. Just drop a like on that comment, you know? So that being said, if you made it this far, you are the real MVP. I hope the rest of your day is awesome. And for me personally, I'm out. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake. Cause I don't fucking care. Now I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words Now make